Three cards are drawn from an ordinary deck of 52 cards without replacement. We're not putting that card back in. Find the probability that all three are aces. So we're looking at the probability of ace and ace and ace. Okay, well this is going to be the probability that the first card is an ace multiplied by the probability that the second card is an ace given that the first card is an ace multiplied by the probability that, whoops, I don't know why I wanted to use B there, that the third card is an ace given that the first two cards were aces. Sorry, that the second card was an ace given that the first card was an ace. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, what's the probability that the first card is an ace? Well, there are four out of 52 cards that are aces. Now, if you're not putting that card back, there are three aces left over and there are 51 cards left over. If we're not putting that card back, then for the third position here, there are two aces left over with 50 cards left over here. Now, this is going to end up being uh, 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 52 times 51 times 50 which gives us a probability of 1 out of 5,525. Okay, so pulling those three cards out, there's only 1 out of 5,525 different ways that could happen where you would get the ace, ace, ace. Now let's take a look at this next one here. All three are black. So this is going to be black on the first one and black on the second one and black on the third one. So this will be the probability of getting a black on the first one, okay, multiplied, because we're talking about dependent events here, probability of getting black on the second, given that the first one was a black, multiplied by the probability of getting black on the third one, given that the second one was black, given that the first one was black. Okay, let's put this together. Well, the probability of getting a black card is going to be 26 out of 52. Half of the deck is black. Now, the probability of getting another black card, given that the first one was black, was going to be 25 out of 51, because now there's one less black, one less card total. The probability that the third card is black is going to be 24 out of 50. Whoops, sorry, I said 24 and I wrote 25. 24 out of 50 here because again the, there's one there's now two less black cards and two less cards total. So now go to the calculator that's going to be 26 times 25 times 24 divided by 52 times 51 times 50. And actually when we convert that and reduce uh, sorry multiply that through and then reduce the fraction we get 2 out of 17. Now compare that to that previous result here. Yeah, this is far more likely. Okay, that's because getting a black card, half of the deck is black, whereas only one thirteenth of the cards are aces. <laughs>